the USC Trojans are in a lot of trouble as they are about to enter the Big Ten in less than a year and they are currently in absolute chaos. They fired their defensive coordinator Alex Grinch yesterday. There's a lot of questions surrounding the USC program wondering if they will be ready for Big Ten play. Caleb Williams will be out the door in just a few months and USC's football program will have to retool the team as they're about to enter one of the best conferences in all of college football. So today we'll be talking about what USC needs to do and how they're in a lot of trouble right now and how they need to make a lot of changes very quickly in order to be successful going forward into the Big Ten. So before I'm in the video, remember to leave like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel if you're new. With that all being said, let's hop right in the video. So USC is in absolute chaos right now. As a football program, the USC Trojans are just in a really, really bad spot. They've already lost three games this season. Their defense is absolutely awful. And with their move to the Big Ten in less than a year, they've got to figure things out sooner than later. This season is already an absolute bust for USC. They've already written off the season. And this will be the end of the Caleb Williams era at USC, which has been a massive disappointment considering how he's a generational talent at the QB position. There's not really much more you could ask for from Caleb Williams. The issue is USC has failed Caleb Williams and they have done a terrible job giving Caleb Williams talent on the defensive side of the ball. They pretty much asked the man to put on a Superman cape every single game and try to go out there and drop his 50 points because their defense can't do anything. This has been a theme with Lincoln Riley and Alex Grinch coach teams dating back to their days at Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley has never really been a guy who can coach up a defense. That's not his forte. That's not what he does. He's focused on the offense and there are not many guys out there in college football who can coach up an offense and get guys to league like Lincoln Riley on the offensive side of the ball. He consistently has great offenses, a lot of great skill positions. I mean, going back to those Oklahoma years, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts and guys like that. Skill position guys like CeeDee Lamb, Hollywood Brown, Mark Andrews. So many great players went through the Oklahoma program and thrived under Riley's offense. And at USC, we've seen Lincoln Riley do the same thing with Caleb Williams, able to bring Malachi Nelson to USC, able to recruit Jordan Addison and Mario Williams to come over to the Trojans. He's never had an issue coaching up an offense at all. And unfortunately for Lincoln Riley though, Football is not just an offensive game. You got to be able to play defense, and especially in the conference that they're about to join where defense is very important, USC has absolutely no defense whatsoever. And as we've seen, Alex Grinch coach defenses have never been good. I mean, looking at these numbers at Oklahoma, his defenses were consistently terrible from 2019 to 2021. His defenses were awful in the 100s and the 60s, consistently allowing a ton of points. And while that may have been enough to win games in the Big 12 where defense doesn't really exist, it wasn't able to win many games this year in the Pac-12, and it's not going to win many games in the Big 10 if you're not able to play defense. That's why USC ended up parting ways with Alex Grinch because the defense this year has been absolutely awful. But going through their schedule as a whole, USC's defense has been terrible. I mean, they gave up 28 points to Arizona State, 41 to Colorado, and 41 to Arizona. They won all three of those games, but the Arizona and Colorado games were very, very close, especially that Arizona game where they had to go to overtime because their defense was so awful. And then eventually their terrible defense caught up with them and Caleb Williams couldn't put on the Superman cape against Notre Dame and they got blown out. Then they lost to Utah who beat them twice last season. Gave up 49 to California, barely squeaked out with a win there, and then played Washington this past weekend and got absolutely obliterated. The fact of the matter is that the Pac-12 got better this year, and while USC was able to do things last year, they didn't win the conference championship, they lost to Utah, and this year they lost games as well. Because at the end of the day, you can outscore inferior opponents, but eventually you're going to go up against teams that have defenses that can actually just stop Caleb Williams. And you have teams that can outscore you on some days like Washington just came in and absolutely blew USC out of the water offensively because Michael Penix played a great game and that Washington offense is very good and USC's offense tried to keep up but eventually if your defense can't get a stop you're gonna lose and so this Lincoln Riley coaching way has to change immediately I mean going into the Big Ten next year, Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, Iowa, those teams play defense over there in the Big Ten. USC can walk in there and they can try to score 50 points a game, but eventually you're going to run into teams in the Big Ten who are better than you and you're going to have to get tough and you're going to have to beat those teams and get some stops and USC has failed to do that. 
And it, with having an elite prospect like Caleb Williams, the fact that USC hasn't won a conference championship with him and won't win a conference championship with him, didn't make the college football playoff despite being ranked, I believe, number six heading into the season and completely flopping. USC has underperformed massively with Caleb Williams, considering where they really should be, which they should be national title contenders instead of losing bowl games to Tulane. Riley absolutely has to get this defensive coordinator higher correct because Alex Grinch has been holding him back as a head coach. And while Lincoln Riley is supposed to be one of the top coaches in college football, and I'll give him all the credit for being an elite offensive mind, but you know who else was an elite offensive mind? Cliff Kingsbury. And Cliff Kingsbury didn't win anything at Texas Tech. And that was with being in the Big 12, where offense is the only thing that really matters. In the Big 10, Lincoln Riley can't Cliff Kingsbury it and score 50 points a game because there will be defenses like Michigan's and Ohio State's that will be able to stop that while also putting up a ton of points on the USC defense. Alex Grinch should have been fired after they lost to Utah and Tulane last year, but instead, Riley was stubborn, kept Grinch for another year thinking he could run through the Pac-12, but teams like Washington... Oregon and those types of teams improved and now USC is sitting on the outside looking in on the conference championship where they most likely will be the rest of the year. So USC completely wasted Caleb Williams and there's no guarantee that Malachi Nelson will be nearly as good. Look at Clemson. Trevor Lawrence with a transcendent generational talent and was absolutely dominant. Clemson's last two five-star QBs, DJ Uyangale and Clay Klubnik, two of the top QBs in their respective classes, haven't panned out the way that T-Law did because these quarterback prospects like Caleb Williams are hard to come by, and the, all the, not all these five-star QBs are guaranteed to be superstars. So USC wasted their opportunity with Caleb Williams. They had him, Jordan Addison, Mario Williams, and all these great offensive weapons on the same team and couldn't do it. This year they had Zachariah Branch, one of the most electrifying players in all of college football, and they've lost three games already. USC's got to figure things out. They're in a lot of trouble. They're going to the Big Ten. They've regressed since last year and with Caleb Williams leaving USC has got to figure things out quickly they've got to get this defensive coordinator higher right because you can't expect to go to the Big Ten and expect Malachi Nelson to put on that Caleb Williams Superman cape and win you games against teams like Michigan and Ohio State on a yearly basis. Lincoln Riley, if he wants to be considered one of the true elite coaches in college football, he's got to realize that defense is a part of the game too. That's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and comment down below if you think USC will be able to get this defensive coordinator higher right and if they'll be able to succeed in the Big Ten and actually turn their identity around. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one and peace out.